In this final video on the Exploring the Farm Map Academy course, I'm going to show you how the farm map works on the AgWeb mobile app. In every video so far, we've seen how the system functions on the web portal on the computer. So I thought it would be a good idea just to show you how it works on the mobile app so that you're familiarized when you're using this function out and about on farm. So first of all, what you need to do is download the AgWeb app from the App Store or the Google Play Store if you're using an Android device. Once downloaded, you can launch the app, enter your login details, and access the mobile app. To view the map screen, simply tap on the Map tab at the bottom of the page there, and you'll then be taken to this screen here. And as you can see, it's very similar to the web portal. There are a couple of slight differences. At the top here, you'll see a filtering bar where you can change the different views that you want to see on the map. So we can tap livestock to remove all of the infrastructure icons. And this would just show us our groups of livestock once we've added, added those to the map. We can click paddocks. This will show us our paddocks and infrastructure. And you can also click tasks to view any tasks that have been assigned. The other important feature is the farm map editor function. And you can see this on the right hand side of the screen, that green pencil icon. If we tap that green pencil, we can then head into the editor function. And this will allow us to add in new features such as landmarks, infrastructure, and paddocks. So if we tap the green plus, we can now add a new paddock, for example. Now, this function works very similarly to how it does on the web. So you just hover over the area you want to start with, tap add, and then draw in your lines along the boundaries. Make sure we complete that square. Tap save, and then you can add in the paddock details in exactly the same way as we've shown in the previous videos. I'm just going to close this now. One final thing to note is if you needed to edit any of the paddock details, you can simply tap on a paddock that you'd like to change. I'm going to choose this far piece here, for example, tap on that paddock. It'll bring up the paddock details. And you can see you can just tap edit details in the bottom left there. Here you'll then be able to change the crops, the land use, the size of the field, etc. If you'd actually like to change the dimensions of the paddock and edit the different points, you would need to do that on the web portal. So that's just a brief rundown of how the map works on the mobile app. The next steps you'd want to take would be to add your animals onto AgriWeb, and this will be outlined either in the introduction to mob management, if you're using the mob system, or the introduction to individual animal management, if you're using the individual system. Hope that was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.